You know, our old friend Bernie Madoff is sitting in a jail somewhere awaiting sentencing. The SEC, meantime, closing in on those who aided and abetted in that $60, $65 billion Ponzi scheme. Michelle has all the gory details from New York. So, the net closing in on his associates, Michelle. That's right, Bernie. You can run, but you can't hide. And a New York brokerage firm and a prominent California investment advisor were secretly controlled by Bernard Madoff. That's the claim by federal regulators who have charged them with securities fraud. The SEC claims that Comed Securities was co-founded by Madoff in 1985 and operated as his facade, sending him investors while he projected a false aura of exclusivity and privilege. Comed Chairman Maurice Sonny Khan, Chief Operating Officer Marsha Khan and Vice President Robert Jaffe were all named in the suit and they're accused of funneling billions of dollars from investors into Madoff's pyramid scheme. Now, there was a second SEC lawsuit filed, and that named investment advisor Stanley Chase. He's a longtime Beverly Hills philanthropist who allegedly oversaw three funds that invested all of their assets, nearly $1 billion, with Madoff. Now, they were crucial to the success of Madoff's $50 billion fraud scheme, targeting affluent yet financially unsophisticated investors by creating this impression that one could only be accepted as an investor with Madoff with special access and as a favor. So that was the big exclusivity spin there. And Comet and Chase were said to have gained nearly all of their revenue from introducing investors to Madoff in what the SEC describes as a well-oiled marketing operation. Now, Comet's main office was in the Lipstick Building on Manhattan's 3rd Avenue, Bernie. That's, uh, we can see that from the Bloomberg Building here. And that, as you know, is the same address as Madoff used for his investment and securities brokerage firm. Well, Jaffe and Chase, through their attorneys, are both disputing the SEC's allegations. Bernie? Wow. Lipstick building, flat iron. You've got really cute names there for buildings. What's the recourse uh, potential, uh, Michelle? Is this all for show, or are they actually going to be able to reel some of the money back? Does the money still exist? Well, Bernie, we're still working on that, and the SEC is trying to track down the money. Now, the SEC did file these two lawsuits in a uh, federal court in Manhattan. It's seeking injunctions against the defendants, as well as unspecified civil fines and, yes, restitution of those allegedly ill-gotten profits. The trustee, Irving Picard, is trying to retrieve funds to pay off thousands of the claims from those made-off uh, clients that were cheated, Bernie. Okay, Ben, it's for Madoff himself, facing uh, total jail terms of uh, totaling maybe 150 years. He's scheduled to be sentenced in Manhattan, New York, next week.